Hello and welcome to Into the Pit, another episode of Greatest Cover Artwork. Once again, Mr. Ed Repka and another album I'd like to shift into the spotlight today, Nuclear Assault, Game Over. Not my favorite album by Nuclear Assault, but damn, that cover artwork is fantastic. For me, it, 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 it ranks right up there with great cover art like Dio Last in Line, that kind of, you know, end time scenario look and feel. So it definitely fits with a thrash metal topic. Obviously, the whole nuclear threat coming across there. And yes, still relevant to this day somehow. Eh? We, mankind is busy sort of destroying itself. If it's not in a nuclear way, then it's in a pollution way. And so just that sort of self-destructiveness of that's in hardwired into us. Um, so a lot of um, artwork by Ed Repka and obviously other artists as well um, has always focused on that kind of topic and it is relevant to this day, as I said before. And um, I think in that sense, thrash bands especially and um, influenced by the punk, early punk bands, have always had a so sort of social and environmental message, not only in their music but also in their artwork. And that's what I guess makes it so timeless and, and really valuable. <laughs> 